I tell him half speed. We're just warming up. Not about throwing hard. It's about throwing right. आधे तेज में ये करना ज़्यादा तेज करना नहीं क्योंकि अभी warm up कर रहे हैं सीधा फेंकना ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है अभी तेजी आ जाएगी बाद में. Oh oh oh. It's alright. It's alright. Tell him to relax. Tell him to smile. आराम से हँसते हुए मजे से करो जितना इतना कोई मतलब जल्दी नहीं है है ना? I'd have to tweak that a little bit. It'd be two hours. Hey guys, Kevin Hart is short. Women are evil. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and then the white guy's gonna be like, you know, guys, maybe you should do this. And they're gonna be like, oh, I never thought of that before. Thanks for being a white guy to guide us. No. That really, that was the most confusing part of that movie for me. Is the one guy that had his act together was the white guy. <sighs> you couldn't. Put in like a wise old black man to show them the way. I mean, you could even have like Steve Harvey show up and be like, "Guys, you suck at being bad." Yeah. All right. So we uh, we pulled the short straw and we saw a million dollar arm. Yeah. Uh, which it it was not that bad. It was good. It wasn't Godzilla, but uh, it was pretty good. Yeah. I mean that's. That's really all you can say about it is it was likable. Yeah. Um, yeah I all right. Basic premise: you've got a down on his luck sports agent who comes up with a wild last chance gambit to go and recruit baseball players in India uh, because they play cricket there, and the two guys they find don't play cricket. Uh, and That's the only part, one of the only parts I really liked about the movie is just two guys talking to each other. Do you play cricket? Nah, I hate cricket. What about you? Yeah, I hate cricket too. And those are the guys that win the million dollar arm and it was, I love the whole thing where it was just like, these rules were invented by a madman. You just hit the ball in any direction. You run back and forth. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, and then he learns that there's more to life than just business as he becomes a surrogate father to these two Indian kids. And this other guy who wants to be a baseball coach. Yeah, it, it's pretty much everything you expect from that synopsis. Yeah. You know, make a movie in your head based on what I've said, and it's 90% right. Yeah. But still, it was it was kind of charming. The, yeah. All of the performances, except for John Hamm, were really, really good. I liked every character in this movie. Except for John Hamm. Yeah. Unfortunately, he was the lead. In uh, the last quarter of the movie, he looked like he was about to cry. Yeah. Because every time cut to him, his eyes are all, like, watery and bigger than they're supposed to be. I'm like, okay, John Hamm's going to cry soon. You can let it out. I don't know why. I mean, he's a really good actor. Uh, I think he may actually be better suited for comedy, but whatever. Uh, um, I can't think of anything he's been in. The the big problem with this movie uh, was the was the storytelling. The direction was good. There were lots of pretty shots of locations in India, but there was a lot of there's a lot of telling rather than showing. Yeah. Like there there's literally a part where they come into the uh, come into a basketball uh, court and they see the rival agent and he goes, "That's the bad guy." And Asif Mambi's like, "Oh, I hate that guy." Yeah, and it's, it's literally it. Just that's a that's like they're oh, there's the rival company. Ooh, they make me mad. I hate that guy. As and then they're like, oh, we but we used to work there, but we left there two years ago to start our own agency, and since then all of our clients have retired. Give me a montage yeah. to show that you know you you have to care about this character the success of this character's business like right off the bat and they give us no reason and to. you don't give half a barrel of monkeys that's me censoring myself i'm sorry audience i i swear too much uh but yeah so he's he ends up watching cricket and britain's got talent just because he's bored which really dates the movie yeah cuz i, I th this movie was supposed to be released like a year ago well, it, it was set in 2008. Okay. So, 
But he's watching that, and he's like, oh, we're going to have a talent contest in India because they play cricket, which is like weirdo baseball. And so they go there. They have a talent contest. They have a pitching contest. And they pick the best top two guys. They go to their homes, and the guy's like, oh, this is humbling because the, look at the small place they came from, and I'm in the world of big business and fancy cars. And then they go to America, and they are amused by pizza and elevators and the hills, and they think Spencer is a funny name. Which it is. It is. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's... it's like, Apart from the, apart from the storytelling, and it could use a better lead. It's really, it's it's a dime a dozen movie, but it's a charming. Movie. Yeah. It, it's not a waste of two hours, but you're not going to get anything great out of it. Yeah, for me, underdog sports movies—they're all really the same to me. There's not really—I'm not into them, with the exception of maybe Space Jam. And Rudy's growing on me in a Stockholm syndrome kind of way. But it's it's an underdog sports movie, but it's also it's also sweet. One of the Indian kids is really cute if you're into that. And it it's got a good fish out of water kind of thing. Because the big businessy guy is like, what? Everything's all different in India. It's small. And the Indian kids come to America and they're like, whoa, everything's big. And I put my hand in here and the door's open. It's, if you had, what this movie really needed was Nicolas Cage. Put Nicolas Cage in the John Hamm role, and this would have been an amazing movie. Put Tom to Cruise. He says that a lot. He doesn't say Tom Cruise a lot. Tom though. Cruise in there. Put Bill Murray in there. You know, just find a super charismatic actor that you don't need an excuse to like him in that role. So it it you don't care. Um, yeah. For the sto the failings of the setup, and it it would have been really good. The only thing, I, the only reason I almost cared about this guy, whether he went bankrupt or not, was because he had a woman living in like the tiny bungalow, I guess they called it, behind his house, and he was he was her landlord. So I was like, well, if he goes broke, he's gonna lose that house, and she's gonna have to move out. So I was rooting for her not being homeless, but I didn't give a care about this guy. Yeah. So there you have it. I'd give it a, a C. It's like I said, it's a dime a dozen, but it's likable. Yeah. I Because I don't like sports movies, I normally give it a pretty low grade, but I'm going to give it a B because I sat through it and I'm like, well, this is good. I mean, I could be watching Godzilla right now. This is still pretty good. Yeah. There you go. Million dollar arm.